Hey guys, Jay here, welcome to Yon's Battle, and today I'm going to show you how to create some toxic waste bases. Here are the paints I'll be using. The first thing I did was I wanted to create some height on the base, and so I found some small pieces of cork. I'm putting these in such a way to create a small valley for the toxic waste to flow through on each base. When working with quirk, make sure you use plenty of super glue. Once it was dry, I began shaping the quirk with a pair of tweezers. I wanted to give it a much rounder appearance. Once I was happy with my shaping, I began applying a layer of wood glue and then sprinkling on some cat litter. Cat litter is a really nice way of building up a lot of height and texture very quickly, and you just have to make sure you use lots and lots of glue to help keep it in place. Once I was happy with how that looked, I watered down a little bit more wood glue and I applied it over top of the cat litter. Once that was dry, I whipped up a batch of texture paste, mixing together some wall spackle, Elmer's glue, fine grain sand, and black ink. I then applied this mixture to the base, and I used a damp brush to help spread it across the base and to smooth it out. I left that to dry overnight, and then I cleaned up the edge of the base with my hobby knife. Next, I primed the models black. I'm using an airbrush, but you could also do this with a rattle can. And then I base coated both models with some Vallejo chocolate brown. I'm doing this with an airbrush, but you could also do this with a few thin coats applied with a regular brush. Next, I gave both models a heavy dry brushing with some Vallejo earth. Then I did a light dry brushing with some Vallejo Bone White over only the highest parts of the model. Next I prepared myself some decorations that I'm going to be putting in the Toxic River. I primed the pieces black. I base coated both of them with some Vallejo Goblin Green. And then I dry brushed them with some Vallejo Bone White. I super glued the arm in place to make it look like it was reaching up out of the toxic waste. And then to make my toxic waste, I mixed up a batch of Loctite Heavy Duty Epoxy with one drop of Vallejo Escorpina Green. I applied this mixture to the base, and luckily the epoxy is so thick that it doesn't want to run. I dropped in my skull, and then I applied my mixture to the smaller base, making sure that it flows up and around the hand reaching out. Now that the bases are finished, I painted the skirt with some black paint. And there are two finished toxic waste bases. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any ideas or techniques you'd like to see us do, please leave them in the comments below. If you followed along with this video, please post your work to Instagram and tag Eons of Battle so that we can share it. Thanks for watching.